The Redding Rancheria is bringing in health care professionals to uh, improve care for people with diabetes. North State's News' Devin Horenda was at their conference today learning about the local impact, and she's here with us. Devin. Mike, Redding Rancheria Health Representatives hosted a diabetes conference for the first time today. Professionals from all over Northern California were there collaborating and hoping to find ways to offer the best possible care to patients. Specifically in lower poverty areas within Shasta County, diabetes rates are, were really bad. On Friday, the Redding Rancheria had its first Northern California Diabetes Conference at the Wind River Resort and Casino, welcoming healthcare providers, educators, policymakers, students, and advocates with the goal of advancing care for people affected by diabetes. Community Health Director Corey Ryan tells me speakers went over subjects like pre-diabetes education and the latest technology in diabetes care to foster learning and collaboration between professionals. We thought we would bring this together to uh, inform the, the community and inform the providers and all of your people who take care of you, all of the medical health health care, is to give them updates. The age-adjusted death rate in Shasta County from 2019 through 2021 is between 23 to 28.3 deaths per 100,000 people, which is above the state average of 23 deaths per 100,000, according to the California Department of Public Health. Shasta County health representatives tell us in the past decade Decade, diagnosed diabetes in the county has grown from nearly eight and a half percent of adults to 10 percent. Ryan tells me there's a diabetes epidemic nationwide and it's an issue that's touching our local community including the Native American population. Especially in our natives, uh, our natives are three times more likely to have diabetes than non-native people so we find it important to focus on that aspect of care. Ryan tells me there were four speakers today at the conference. Next year, he says he hopes to bring it back again with even more speakers and guests. Devin Horenda, The North States News.